hello everyone welcome to you all and this is the video after we covered the SN2 mechanism and this is also a part of SN2 mechanism that is intramolecular SN2 mechanism so in the name there is intra so what is what is the name related with mechanism let let us see let's say let's take an example that we have this substrate that there is chlorine attached with it and also a, a element an element with the lone pair so if we have lone pair carrying compound on the same on the on, on the substrate that is containing the living group also so what will happen this lone pair will attack directly here if we have given a another nucleophile so that will not act here because we have this o, o containing the lone pair so that will directly attack here so there is a formation of cyclic compound here so this is that is why in the name it is given intramolecular within a molecule we have living group also as well as nucleophile so this is cyclic compound and let's come to the next point that is also a part of intramolecular SN2 reaction that is NGP NGP is the neighboring group participation from the name itself we can sense where there there might be nucleophile as well as living group on the same substrate so let us start with it so one point I, I will show you that is NGP proceed through SN2 mechanism NGP is has the mechanism got the mechanism is same that is same as SN2 mechanism with unexpected high rate of reaction so our um, the rate of reaction is very much higher than normal SN2 mechanism okay so if we see the condition of NGP what are the condition what are the circumference circumstances on which NGP will um, depending on so let's see we ha we have to have the um, nucleophile and living group on the same substrate nucleophile and living group should be present on same substrate as like as intramolecular so we can say that NGP is a part of intramolecular SN2 mechanism so this is the first point the second point I will write here internal a new and living group living group let's say L internal a new and living group should be in anti with respect to one another internal nucleo nucleophile and living group should be in the position with respect to one another it should be in the anti position anti position with respect to one another I'll, I'll discuss I'll explain this also uh, while I'm I'll be taking an example or mechanism so let's take an example um, with the mechanism let's say we have a substrate this is C C we have living group and we have a nucleophile a, a group with lone pair so if we have a group with lone pair let's say Z Z so I have to connect Z so it can be like this position Z and the second way of connecting is Z so this is A way this is B way means I can connect either this way I can connect either this way so in the second point if we look at that internal 
nucleophile and living group should be in anti position with respect to one another so this should be in anti position they are not in the same side so the b part will um, b path will not be there this should be in anti position with respect to each other that is the um, main mode of this this line so why it is um, then while proceeding the reaction you can see that the lone pair is directly attacking here as this has the lone living group so living group group will leaves out okay so there is a formation of cyclic compound so that there will be z and that is and there will be formation of a carbocation okay now if we are given we are given the nucleophile so now the nucleophile has two path it can attack here it can attack this carbon also if this is a asymmetric then there will be two path it can attack here it can attack also here mm. The both will mm, the both um, both will give the different product. If we attacking here, there will be some product that will be other than if nucleophile attack here. So let's see what is what is going to be happen here. Let's say nucleophile is attacking here. So what will happen? This this will be break in this way. Let's say this is a pathway and another that is it is attacking here let's say this is b path so it will be like this way b let's do one thing let's say this these are cs3 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 and here h so this is not a symmet symmetrical symmetric molecule this is an asymmetric molecule so let's write the product of a that would be c c cs3 cs3 and cs3 h and we have z here and nucleophile here Okay, this is the product of a a product. So if you write the second product following the path B, that would be C C C S three C S three and we have nucleophile here and we have Z here and H and C S three. So if you see the both product A are not equals to B they are different they got the different product so you have to see see the both pathway which will be favorable that we have to decide from various conditions given in the reaction. So about the product I will comment I will add one line that is SN2 is SN2 mechanism SN2 is happening here two times first time when Z is attacking here and second time when nucleophile is attacking here so two times SN2 mechanism are happening here so when the first time it is happening it gives the inverse and product so at the second time when the nucleophile is attacking that then got second time inversion so first time inverse got second another inversion so get the retention product so two times two times sn2 mechanism happening resulting in resulting 
retention product i hope you have understood this line two times sn2 mechanism is happening here resulting the retention product one time first time get inverse then second time inverse got inverse so retention product hope you have got this let's take an example it will be more clear to you let's see we have a subtract ch b r c is 3 c o minus r a f o so we have this and we have also nucleophile o h minus so what what we have seen earlier that o h minus will not attack directly here because we have the group one group with negative charge within the molecule so intramolecule will favor first rather attacking of OH minus here directly so first make intramolecular let's say this is attacking here and it is leaving out so there is a formation of cyclic compound CH C whole bond O and we have a cyclic compound O we are done here like this one so now we have the ring of three three member ring so if we can remember three member ring has higher strain higher strain so it is not a stable on so what will it do it will try to break its bond so that would be done by OH minus so there is two chance it can attack here and breaking the bond in this way and it can attack here breaking the bond this way if you see the red line the carbon is of this carbon is of lower degree 1 degree carbon and this is the 2 degree carbon so keep in mind this is 1 degree carbon this is 2 degree carbon so there is a hindrance here as it is SN2 reaction hindrance will be preferable first so this is a hindered carbon then this so it will attack directly here so giving the product of red line CH3 CH O minus and here we have C C O H O okay so now what will happen this is carboxylic acid so the H of carboxylic acid is very much acidic so this will come to here and after that this one will be CS3 CHOH CO minus and double bond o. so keep in mind that there is a transfer of hydrogen H plus proton transfer is taking place here because carboxylic acid is the stronger acid so this is coming here so in this what we have learned what is the point of what is the point of focus that nucleophile attack the carbon with with lower degree so this is the lesson we have learned from this example
if we take another example for deciding the rate of reaction let's say we have substrate like CS3 and we have beer here and CS3 here and in H2 same way here also here beer is here on the opposite side CS3 NH2 and CS3 so we have to decide whether first one give the high, higher rate of reaction or second one give so if we see here that this has a lone pair and this is the living group this has a lone pair and this is the living group so in the first condition they are, they are on the same side in the first subtrade you can see they are, they are on the same side but here they are on the anti side so second reaction has the higher rate of reaction than first okay